God stood at your side, and with you we shall rejoice at the eternal Easter tide. Welcome to each and every one of you, wherever you might be. On this first Sunday of Lent, welcome to Christchurch Anglican Meaford. We welcome you all. Today we enter in the season of Lent, and together we are invited to pause and reflect before we enter to this celebration, the Liturgy of the Word. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, and also with, with you. you. Almighty God, to you, you all, all hearts, hearts are, are open, open all, all desires known, known and, and from, from you, you no secrets, secrets are hidden. Cleanse, cleanse the, the thoughts, thoughts of our hearts by, by the inspiration of, of your Holy Spirit, Spirit that, that we, we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who blesses, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations, and as you know the weakness of each of us, let each one find your mighty to save through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood. And never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you, and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in its clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth, and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Be, to be to God. God. And the psalm for today is Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do let, not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me known to your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I will wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. 
Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble and what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The second reading is from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 to 22. For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey. When God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is eight people, were, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. you and also, and also with, with you. you the holy gospel of our lord jesus christ according to mark glory, glory to, to you lord, lord jesus christ. christ in those days jesus came to nazareth of galilee and was baptized by john in the jordan and just as if he was coming up out of the water he saw the heaven turn apart, and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with who I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness, Forty days tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angel wait on him. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of God have come near, repent, and believe in the good news. The gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ.
My friend, we are already at the first Sunday of Lent. Lent, a meaning time, a time where we are called to step aside, to reflect, to learn, to grow, to do things that we are called to push ourselves at another extension of our belief and our effort to be better. And today in the gospel, Mark is telling us the story of Jesus being baptized and how the temptation came along. It is with these words that Jesus addressed personally to each and every one that we enter in the time of Lent. Convert and believe in the gospel. Two imperative words. Convert and believe. These are the first words that Jesus, of Jesus that Mark report and which set the stone for all is gospel. But these two imperatives are preceded by two indicative. The time are fulfilled. The reign of God is very near. In order to welcome the two imperative as Jesus addressed them to us, it is important first to hear the two quote. The first one, the time is up. The second one, the reign of God is very near. The time is up in the time that pass and which may seem meaningless to us. In our time, which is sometimes wasting time. Each of us has experienced particularly moment and surprising quality of death. And each have perceived that it was an opportunity not to be missed and to grow. But Jesus affirmed this very forcefully. Time is now in its fullness. The reign of God is very near. The long wait, the long to the reign, it's not just a little closer than before. It is here now. It is there because Jesus is there and because he gave us fullness to this time which is ours. But that doesn't require a superficial look. This is why it is about converting that is changing our outlook and our way of understanding what is happening to us and what it is happening to our world. I'll be curious if I could right now ask you wherever you are the question and reflect on it. What is your memory of your childhood or what is your memory where in the Lent season that you have find yourself converting, find yourself listening to God, find yourself opening your hearts and being willing to follow Jesus fully. Do you remember? These words of Jesus when he said, time is up. Do you remember when Jesus said, the reign of God is very near? 
Do you remember that? When you, you cross your pathway, when you look at your spiritual life, when you look at your spiritual journey, either with your family, either with your spouse, either with your congregation, your community, your action, when did you hear the voice of Jesus telling you these words during Lent? I do personally remember that Lent for me is the most important time in my spiritual life. When we were a child, when we were young, when we grow up in the family, we were living near the church. And every day, for 40 days, we were going all together every night at the church to fulfill our commitment to God through the Lent season. It was a time where you could feel the Spirit of God in your life. It was a time where you could feel that God was talking to you. I did. And that's what I carry today. When I hear these words, time is up. The reign of God is very near. It's really meaningful. It is very meaningful because I have listened many and many times the gospel of Mark, read it and read it and pray over it, and it became meaningful to me. Today, in the gospel, we are invited to find out how can we follow Jesus? How can we let all the temptation that we have in our life aside, even if it's not easy? Because every day, every minute, we are subject to be tempted. But today, we see that Jesus in the gospel, said, you are my beloved, just like it was said to him. So today, in the gospel, we are called to reflect on how can we adjust ourselves to do, to follow these two words. Times is up. The reign of God is very near. It is now that we are called. We are invited to take the path with Jesus. This is where our Lent path is located today. Not as a set of extraordinary effort that will inevitably leave us with a feeling of deep frustration, but an invitation to take the path with Jesus since he came to take this path with us. Let us not forget it is not who, it's not we who love God, but it is he who loves us. And he sent his son as a sacrifice for forgiveness of our sin. Of course, we have to do whatever it's right for us to move forward like him and with him. But it is seem to me that the author of the letter of Hebrew tell us an essential way what we are called to live. Surrounded by an immense cloud of witness and a clear of all that weighed us down. In particular, 
of the sins which either us so well. Let us run with endurance the test that it is proposed to us with our eyes fixed on Jesus. Yes, it is truly worth it to follow Jesus during this time. It is truly worth it because he is calling us. Jesus is teaching us. Jesus is calling us to reflect on how we can be more prepared to walk with him. May the Lent season be for us a time to grow, a time to pray, a time to discover, a time to find God in our life, and a time to give God some time in our own Let us confess the faith of our baptism as we say, I believe, I believe in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, our Lord. Lord. He, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He, he suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and it is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. I invite you to prayer and to join and uh, add your own petitions as you see fit to pray to our Lord. We are baptized to lift up day by day all the needy world to God. Let us therefore pay for all who are in need, saying, have mercy, O Lord. For the church, that all who have found God's promise in the waters of baptism may enter gladly into the testing time of Lent, we pray, have Have mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. For the church, that all who are believers may walk with us these 40 days and know both Satan's testing and God's reign, we pray, have Have mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. For the leaders of the church, for Linda, our primate, Anne, our metropolitan, Todd, Bishop of Huron, Mark, National Indigenous Bishop, Graham, our Archdeacon, and for all our readers, lay readers, our postulant, musicians, and videographer, continuing the ministry here at Christ Church during this time of transition. For the members of the search committee, and for all who nurture our life together, that the body may be strengthened and our common life enriched, we pray, have mercy, Mercy, O Lord. Lord. For our world, that all living creatures may find goodness on this earth, our island home, where life and death may both be God's blessing, we pray, have have mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. For deliverance, that in the wastelands made by our greed and indifference, we may fast from evil, and grow hungry for justice, we pray. Have Have mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. For ourselves, as we gather in our homes, looking forward to join together in our church building, that we look forward to Easter, caring for our sick and needy, remembering those who have died, believing in our every deed, the good news, we pray. Have Have mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. Let us pray for this parish, as we hold in our prayers this week, Ellen and Jeannie Johnson, Mary Johnson, Sherry Kartechner, and all their families. And for all those serving in the Canadian Armed Forces at home and abroad. 
for our presence in this community, that persons may find here the means to a deeper relationship with God, and for our ministry of reconciliation, that all may find here the forgiveness of God and the acceptance of each other, we pray. Have, Have mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. For healing and hope, we hold up to God, Angela, Bill, Charlie, Howie, Jason, John, Mike, Paul, Patsy, Ruth, Sandra, Simon, Steve, Teresa, Tyler, Vicki, Wayne, Wayne P., Wilma, and any others who are in need of our prayers at this time that health and wholeness might be theirs, we pray. Have mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. And in our cycle of prayer, we give thanks for all the good works that are being done in this Diocese of Huron, as we hold in our prayers the people and clergy of St. Edmund Tobermory, St. Andrew's Memorial, Howden Vale, St. Peter by the Lake, Sabo Beach. For all these, we pray. Have, Have mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. Almighty God, look on our church with grace that we may find a faithful servant who will come to care for your people in this parish and support us in our ministries. Merciful, loving God, remember all those for whom we pray this day. As we enter into this season of Lent, guide us to follow your holy laws and to continue to perform what is expected of us to keep your creation as you have ordained. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we pray, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our, our trespasses. trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God, whose, whose power is working in us, can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God for generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. The celebration has ended. Let us go and follow the invitation of Jesus. Proclaim the news and believe it in the world, in our community. Have a good Lent season. May the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. 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 No.
us provided, pardoned, guided. 